Hello everybody, hope you're having a fantastic day today. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Today we're gonna to be talking about the Woodland Retreat uh, prefab. Basically you can get it as a bundle or you could buy it individually, which I'm gonna show here. And I just kinda of wanted to show you guys how good it actually is. I think it's amazing, let's get into it here. Okay, so just to show you too, you can get it for a bundle in the Atomic Shop right now, or you can just buy it uh, individually. If you want to get it individually, I believe it is 700 atoms. Now, just to point out, um, I saw some people say complaining a bit about, you know, it's huge and we're not going to be able to fill it full of stuff because of the camp budget. But I just want to show here how little camp budget it actually takes. Like rather than build a house, you just have this house that barely costs any budget at all. You will have tons of extra room to fill this house as I'm showing here. Now, I only furnished the first floor and the second floor. I could have done the third and fourth, but that was just way too much to me and I kind of wanted to have a nice little deck and, you know, rockway and all that around the house. So I kind of just, you know, stuck to that instead of fully furnishing the whole house. You could easily fully furnish this whole house if you don't go as crazy as I do with the, uh, you know, the walkways around the house. I just like being outside. I don't know what to say. And yeah, very easy to fully furnish this house just because of the amount of camp budget that it takes is pretty much next to nothing. I would love to hear in the comments uh, how many flamingos it actually takes. If you didn't know, you can measure uh, camp budget with the flamingos basically because it's one of the lowest things to take up camp budget or something like that. I'm not sure the technical or technicalities of it, but yeah, you will have lots of room to fill this thing. It barely takes up any budget. It's amazing. Just to show you here, I did create like a little chilling room if you want to sit down and read a book or something. And this was like an extra room I kind of threw in here just because I didn't really know what else to put in here. This is another reason why I didn't really go up to the third or fourth floor other than I put a generator there. Um, I have a nice little living room and a dining room table here to eat my dinner at if I want. And a nice little bookcase and it's overlooking the, the porch here in case I want to go out there and a nice little kitchen that I'm actually pretty proud of. I never thought I would use this kitchen stuff, but here we are, I threw it in here very quickly. And this is just what I did. I can only imagine what someone who's more creative than me would do. I wouldn't say I'm too creative, kind of just threw the stuff in here quick for the video. But yeah, I'm very anxious to see a lot of these prefab builds. It's, I'm sure some of these are just gonna look fantastic. I even made myself a little arcade here, um, including with whack-a-mole, a pinball machine, even a hidden door that I'm going to show how to get in here, um, a dartboard machine, the derby machine, even some slot machines, a Quentino sign, and a pool table. Um, I even went above and beyond with Leo and made him his own little Nuka-Cola themed room. I love Leo. He's hands down my uh, favorite uh, ally. So went above and beyond for him on this one. And here's my bedroom. Nothing too special. Like I said, I'm not the most creative person. This is just, you know, stuff that I would like to have in my bedroom. So I just kind of threw it in here quick. Um, pretty much looks like most of my bedrooms. Did a quick little bathroom as well here too, included with a washer and dryer, a sink, a clean toilet, and a shower. Okay, so just to show you when you fast travel to my house, you kind of just spawn in and around here. I really like putting the uh, welcome home sign on that red rocket sign. Um, made a little garden here with the turbo fertilizer in case I need more of it. Even more fertilizer here with some corn. And yeah, I got this symptomatic here, kind of just wedged it in there with the rock. And yeah, the cement truck I managed to get up here, which I thought was pretty cool, so I kind of wanted to show this. Um, yeah, it'll just sit there on the edge of the Wavy Willard wall set, if you're wondering what the uh, gray brick is. Pretty cool that it just sits there like this. I thought I would throw it up there. Out of the way, free cement. Uh, made a little, uh, you know, sitting area here on the porch. 
Um, then you come in here again, the dining room, the living room with a nice little bookcase, a TV, um, and the secret uh, way into my arcade if you want to come over here and play some pool or pinball. I thought I would show some of the animations for some of these games because I feel like some people would have got to me in the comments and said, hey, why didn't you show us what the pinball machine looked like or um, even the, uh, the dart machine. So I just go through a couple of them here. I don't play the pool table and I don't do the whack-a-mole machine, I don't think here. But just really cool, you know, to be able to come in here and do this stuff, play the slots. Um, other than the derby machine, I probably won't even bother with any of, the, or any of these. I just really like the look of the arcade room. I would always have wanted an arcade in my house if I could have a dream house. So I, this was actually pretty cool that I got this done. And the kitchen I was talking about earlier, nothing special. I got the coffee maker in here. I threw a toaster up there. You can get some water from the sink if you didn't know, which is very cool. This kitchen set is actually on the scoreboard right now, close to the end. Uh, there's the company tea. I threw a radio in. I even threw the cryo fridge in the back here just for looks to kind of look like I have a little bit of a freezer in here or something. Just, yeah. Trying to fill it up here a bit. Like I said, like I, I'm not as creative as most people. Um, here's my little sitting room, you know, in case you want to sit down and read a book or something. And I even threw in a bit of a jump scare for people that want to open this door. <laughs> Maybe I'll catch a couple people off guard and it'll scare them. That would be awesome. Okay, yeah, and before we go upstairs, I think I'm going to show outside here. Yeah, we're just going to run through here very quickly. Um, this is like what I said. If you don't do any of this, you'll easily be able to furnish the whole house. Um, I just like having the stuff outside for convenience. Basically, all my uh, crafting uh, benches that I would need. I even put a lot of uh, the resources down there. Here's my barbecue for cooking. Cryo freezer, another sink for cooking if I need dirty water. My Armco ammo machine. Of course, the cryo freezer if I want to fix up my power armor. I'm good over here. It just allowed me to put in so much stuff, even like this huge little balcony slash deck, you ever want to call it here. Just the fact I could put all this in and then fully furnish the house as much as I did on the first two floors, I think is just crazy. Tons of extra room to fill up this place, everybody. I'm telling you, if you got an extra 700 atoms, this is a great purchase. You'll just be able to put it down and boom, you have a new camp to start throwing stuff in it. It's very awesome. I think this is easily the best prefab we have. But let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you think there's a better one, I would love to hear from you. And you know, of course, this is just my opinion. Now let's go upstairs. I really, like I said, I went the extra effort to, uh, um, hook Leo up upstairs here. I even blocked off one of the rooms here, which he likes to keep opening up the door Because um, I just I ran out of ideas to be honest like this was enough like I really went above and beyond with this new Coca-Cola room I think um, just wanted to say that little heist board reminds me of the casino heist in GTA If anyone knows what I'm talking about just throw that out there And of course we have a bathroom with a washer and dryer Ah, some nice pictures, a shower, a sink, which I'm going to show you the shower here, but unfortunately it did block me from going into it. But just in case you did want to see the animation, I thought I would take the dryer out because I did assume that was the problem. And then sure enough, it allowed me to shower. So now you can say you have seen Mr. West Tech shower. I don't know if you'd want to be proud of that or not. Just throwing it out there. <laughs> Jokes aside... I love this. I love this house. I spent all day just doing this and it was just so much fun. Yeah, I, I love buildings. I, I like, you know, like furnishing, I, I guess, too. Like building a house is one thing, but just the fact I could put this down and put the deck around it, man, I had so much fun doing this all day. And we're going to show my bedroom very quickly here. You know, we got a, um, a weight bench, a punching bag, a dresser, the bed. You know, I even put a Blue Ridge flag up there. You know, some end tables with some lamps. And maybe, you know, a little cargo case there to put some stuff into. Now, I'm just going to show the upstairs as well. After I go downstairs, apparently. Why am I going outside here? Oh, I wanted to point out, too, if you didn't know the location, I'm right beside West Tech in case 
you know, I'm sure most of you aren't surprised at this point. So yeah, this is my new North Tech, I'm gonna call it. And yeah, let's go upstairs just to show you the extra two rooms. There are four floors. I know I missed the fourth one in the Atomic Shop video, so I'll definitely showcase it in this video. I apologize for that. But like I said, I didn't really put anything up here other than a generator, just because, you know, I couldn't I couldn't come up with any more ideas. What, are gonna, what am I gonna make? Like three bedrooms for my three kids that I don't have? I don't know. <laughs> I, I ran out of ideas, ladies and gentlemen. Very beautiful place, very easy to furnish. I had no problem putting in lights or things on the wall were a little bit finicky, but I think we all know that at this point with prefabs. Just so much room and, you know, so much, you know, <laughs> basically room to, you know, have a, if you have a great imagination, I can only imagine what this, some of these uh, builds will look like. And yeah, I just wanted to show too that the house has its own power supply. So you can hook a generator up to it like I did and it just traveled right through the wall. It wasn't hard to hook it up. I put the generator on the third floor there and you can see the wire went through my kitchen through the second floor and up to the third floor to the generator. And then the whole house had power. It was like one big conduit. So that's just another amazing thing about this prefab. Um, let me know if you guys are getting this in, this, in the um, comments. I'd love to hear back from you guys. And uh, yeah, let me know what you guys are doing with your prefab if you did get it. And thank you as always everybody for watching. You have no idea how much I appreciate you guys. Have a lovely evening.